The weird thing about parenting is that you don't actually know how to parent until after you've parented. This is a series where we show real live everyday parents different scenarios and ask them how they'd respond if it happened in their life. Because when it comes to parenting, we're all kind of asking, what the f would you do? I am a mother of an adorable two-year-old little boy. I'm the father of a seven-year-old. We are the parents to two-year-old Eli and four-month-old Layla. I have been a parent for five years already, since I was 16. I've been a uh, parent for 14 years. We have two kids, uh, almost four-year-old and an almost one-year-old. Daddy, why is your hands for not moving? What the f do you do? Aw, the hamster died. We, we don't trust our kid with pets. Our oldest daughter right now <laughs> cried when the pumpkin died at Halloween. <laughs> died <when laughs> and it brought in. She has daddy. It's sleeping. Sleeping? Hamster sleeping. Until when? You have to be ready to answer those kind of questions. And when they're that age, uh, it's hard for them to understand it, the concept of death. The hamster went to another place. The little hamster is not gonna be with us anymore. They won't see the hamster again. Yeah, she probably wouldn't take it well, but we, we wouldn't hide it. We definitely wouldn't like replace it and try to do that whole thing. But we can probably find another one for you. Or maybe. You've been good, and let's get a dog. There's a lot of death in Disney movies, so she understands it. All right, guys, that was interesting. Let's see scenario number two. We're home early. Hey, so how did everything go? Uh, huh? Uh, hmm? No, that is not what it looks like. How was dinner? That was not porn. No, that was not porn. It's, um, Two people having sex on camera? What the f do you do? I'm so disturbed by this. I'm so grossed out by yeah. this. I'd probably smack the First of all, our nanny is like in her mid 60s. So if this happened, that would be really odd. I don't know what I would do in that situation. I mean, I guess we wouldn't want them in the house anymore to watch our kid. What if the kids were awake? But I mean, if the kid is asleep, I guess it can't be that bad. <laughs> you have to know the people that who you're leaving your child with. Do what babysitter would do this? Yeah, yeah. What I don't do? understand. I, never, I don't would, believe it. I don't believe this would ever happen well, in real look, life. Had, I'm it, telling you. He or she is probably a teenager and they're going through that phase. Uh, we've all been through it, so. Uh, <laughs> Just pretend that pretend didn't, it didn't happen. happen. Yeah, pretend it didn't happen. Yes, I would still pay the but then say please leave and I'll never call you again. I would talk to her and tell her that's not something you do at somebody else's house. If she uh, was some teenage babysitter from the neighborhood and we caught them doing that, I think we would have to talk to her parents. Well, that was their thoughts. Let us know in the comments what the f you would do about those scenarios. And if you've got any parenting conundrums that you want us to weigh in on, we're here for you on what the f would you do. Parenting is hard. <laughs> <laughs>